my name is Janice and welcome to my channel so for today's video we will be reviewing a sunblock which is for face and body and it's the quick fix sunblock it has SPF 50 PA++ that means it has broad spectrum UVA and UVB protection so it helps protect against the damaging effects of the sun it's a 10 gram um, product and I bought this at Watson's for 99 pesos so since nagmamadali tayo I will be putting in this product on our face so ayan that that long john parang napadami yata yung lagay ko bish so ayan oo napadami so may pagka beige yung undertone nya ay shocks dot pala masyadong heavy pala yung coverage ng ano ko No, human nature. Kasi naglagay mo na ako ng moisturizer. And what I used is the human nature aloe vera gel from Hindi pala human nature. It's the Nature Republic aloe vera gel. Okay. Para siyang nagkakaroon ng mga pagbabalat pangyayari. So, let's do wear test today. Ay, grabe. Eh, no, nakikita niyo ba yan? I don't know if that's from, I don't know if that is from Nature Republic. Pero, ayan siya. Ano nyo guys, sa totoo lang, naghanap talaga ako ng sunblock na hindi ako titigyawatin. This is one of the best sunscreens na nakita ko based from vlogs. So, ayan. Let's put some on our neck as well. Para pantay. Ayan siya. Pag nabin. Wala naman siyang white cast masyado. Kaso, may pagka glowy effect siya. Parang Ayan lang, para siyang highlighting effect sa aking face. Ayan, uulan na. So, magmadali na tayo. Uh, pasensya na pala nandito yung salamin ko. So, don't be bothered. Ayan. So, ayan. Ayusin ko lang yung makeup ko and then I'll be back. Hey guys, so ayan, tapos na tayo sa ating simple makeup pulbo, eyebrow gel ng Fashion 21, and Pretty Secret Lip and Cheek Tint lang ating mga ginamit. Time check, it's ayan, 9.56am, tapos kami yung ospital, magpapaskin test si Evo. So ayan, I'll provide you guys with an update later, okay? Hey guys, so ayan, we're back home. Kanina pa actually, mga 12.30 pa. So, kumain lang kami. And, ayan, time check, it's 2.35. Uh, I mean, 2.36 p.m. As you can see, ayan, oh, oiliness is real dito sa aking T-zone. And, ayan, say hi to my naguhumiyaw na pores. I haven't put powder yet on my face. So, siguro, mamaya, Ayan. I'll keep you guys updated mamaya maya. Alright? Bye! Hey guys, so we're back. Let me just provide you my final thoughts and of course some information about what the sunscreen is. So, since I wasn't able to provide you with any information what the sunscreen is, is what the sunscreen is and okay, let me just show you the state of my face first. Ayan, as you can see, bonggang oiliness sa aking T-zone. And, by the way, time check. It's 9.29pm. So, it's almost 12 hours na nakalagay yung sunscreen sa aking mukha. 
simula kanina kasi it was 9.56 a.m. nung naglagay tayo ng sunscreen. So, ayan. Gamitin na natin tong pangtanggal niyang mga oiliness na yan sa ating pagmumuka while telling you what the sunscreen is. And so, first, let me just tell you na ano nga ba ang sunscreen? So, ang sunscreen ay ginagamit to protect your body or your face from harmful UV rays. Yun ang primary reason why you are getting sunburn, redness, aging, and wrinkles. Katulad nyo rin ba ako na nagtataka kung ano yung SPF, PA, tsaka yung plus 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 na nakalagay dyan sa mga lotion nyo? Kasi ako talaga nagtataka. Uh, by the way, just to let you know, may mga iba't ibang uri ang sunscreen. Merong form of gel, may form of lotion, may topical product, merong foam, meron ding spray. And etc. So, ang SPF, that means sun protection factor. Yes, taray, nag-research. So, yung SPF, Tinutulungan niya yung lotion or any product which will deflect the UV rays. When you say deflect, yun yung, yung para mag-dodge or ma-change siya to a different position. Yung rays, imbis na direkta dito sa skin nyo tumama, siya siguro para siyang mirror na nagba-bounce back to a different direction. May yung SPF rating based dun sa ating ni-research kung hanggang kailan magtatagal yung sunscreen sa skin mo or sa face mo. So, yung plus, meron siyang some UVA protection and then yung plus plus, meron siyang moderate UVA protection and then yung tatlong plus, meron siyang high UVA protection and of course yung apat na plus that means extreme UVA protection. So the more plus that you buy, the more um, UVA protection that you will get from that product. It seems like yung mga rating na yun is coming from Japan but of course other countries did not agree on how they measure or calculate yung mga plus 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 kasi tinitignan talaga nila kung hanggang kailan tatagal yung sunscreen sa balat mo. Siyempre di ba we all have different skin types that means merong mga tao na pwedeng mas matagal siyang umitim Kapag binilad siya sa araw, meron naman niya kahit ang tagal na sa araw ay mamumula lang siya. Another information that I was able to search nga sa Google, kapag SPF 15 pala, it blocks 92% of UV, UVB rays. And then yung 30% is 96%. And then yung SPF 45 to 50, it will block... 98% of UVB rays. So, I think okay na yung hanggang SPF 50. At least, di ba, hindi masyadong grabe yung chemicals na nilalagay mo sa skin mo, especially sa face mo. Yung UV rays nga pala, meron itong UVB tsaka UVA. Yung UVB, yun yung short wave. Y yung it means yung parang yung rays na nagagaling sa aring, haring araw ay lumalapat dito lang sa balat ko. Kaya UVB means burn and then yung UVA means aging kasi it deeply penetrates your skin. That's also the cause of aging, wrinkles, tsaka sunspots. By the way, um, I would highly recommend na Magstay na lang kayo indoor or sa loob ng inyong mga araw or kung saan mang shade between 10 a.m. Yun yung parang pinaka-peak time na talagang bonggam-bongga yung UV rays na produce ni Haring Araw. And then it 
would be very best kung i-apply nyo yung sunscreen at least 20 to 30 minutes. That is, kung kayo yung tao na parang Barbie lang, medyo takot sa araw, ganon, di kayo masyadong magbibilad. Pero, kung may bala kayong mag-biking, ano pa ba, um, bet nyong mag-jogging sa kainitan ng araw or between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. O kaya, bet nyo lang magpatan kasi sobrang puti nyo, gusto nyo lang makiuso sa mga morena. Ayan, ibabad, uh, maglagay muna kayo ng sunscreen 30 minutes or an hour bago kayo magbilad sa araw. Just to make sure na hindi kayo pagpapawisan. Kasi pag pagpawisan kayo, mare-reduce din yung parang SPF or mare-reduce din yung effect ng sunscreen or sunblock na nilagay nyo sa skin or face nyo. Or suggested sunscreen measurement na ilalagay nyo sa katawan nyo ay 1 ounce which is equivalent to 2 tablespoons and then for your face quarters, teaspoon would be fine. So, ayan, since nasabi ko na yung na-research ko online at nandun sa aking board, let's go ahead and jump to my review. So, first, packaging-wise, I would say na it's really handy. Um, you will know na hindi talaga matatapon yung product, especially kung naingatan nyo yung takip. Kasi meron siyang takip dun sa product na yun. Especially, you need to reapply the product two to three hours just to make sure that your skin or your face will be protected from UV rays. For oily skin, I think it would be best if you will bring your wipes with you kasi siguro first two hours after kong maglagay ng sunscreen, talagang sobrang oily na dito sa nose ko. Kasi dun talaga na na dito sa nose. And then dito. And then dito. And then dito. So, kung wala kayong wipes, kasi alam ko, mas makaklog yung pores nyo kapag pul tinatakpan nyo lang ng ano eh, ng pulbo or BB cream foundation or anything yung nasa mukha nyo. Kasi diba, imagine, kung ma-expose kayo sa biyahe, tapos diba, hindi, kayo, hindi naman parang, ano, katulad ko kayo, nag-tricycle lang, ayan, commuter lang kayo. Siyempre, yung pollution, yung dirt, yung dust, pupunta sa lahat sa mukha mo, and then after that, kung tatapalan mo lang siya ng powder, yan, magkaklog yung pores mo, yan, lalaki, o kaya magsiswelling, and because of that, ayan, madedevelop na yung pimple nyo. Ayun, so, um, I don't think that's the best sunscreen for oily skin. But, kung meron naman kayong normal to dry skin, I think it would caring carry at siguro pak na pak sa inyo yung sunscreen na yun. And then, for the price, 99 pesos. If you will have to reapply it every 2 to 3 hours, um, pwede na rin, of course, kasi diba, yung kung i-consider mo naman yung mga benefits na makakuha mo for, from sunscreen, diba, pack na pack na yun, beshi. Diba, hindi, alam mo na mas less yung risk mo Sa skin cancer, sa aging, sa wrinkles, sa sunburn, of course, diba? I-risk mo pa ba ang 99 pesos na yan best sa iyong mukha? So, ayun. And then, next, I don't think it's a perfect ma match dun sa my Nature Republic na aloe vera gel. Kasi, diba, as you can see previously, parang mga particles or mga basta yung mga maliliit na napunta dyan sa mukha ko yung para siyang mga dry skin na walang ganyan siguro it would be best kung maglalagay kayo ng ibang moisturizer siguro yung aqua white hindi kasi ako dun hiyang kaya tinigil ko siya, binigay ko na lang siya dun sa katrabaho ko um, that's another product that I would like to explore as well, moisturizer kasi nga si human nature medyo, ano siya eh, medyo 
yung jela ah, medyo ano siya heavy coverage siya siguro that will be best at night ayon so overall i will definitely buy product especially kung sa office ka lang yung parang katulad ko call center agent na sa office ka lang medyo lunch lunch ka lang lalabas o kaya break sa bagay may 15 may 2 15 minute break ka caring carry naman hindi ka naman masyadong pagbabawisan so carry boom boom um ayun so if you will ask me if I will purchase this or repurchase this quick fix sunscreen yep Definitely, of course, for sa halagang 99 pesos. Um, bukas, titignan ko kung uh, magkaroon ako ng pimple sa aking muka. Kasi usually, ganun yung aking muka. Pag hindi talaga ako hiyang, mabilis akong tigyawatin. Parang after 24 hours or mga, oo, yeah, in 24 to 48 hours, ayan, tutubo na yung tigyawat kong yan. So, ayun lang aking first impression dito sa Quick Fix Sunscreen. I hope natulungan ko kayo and I hope meron kayong napun na napulot na aral. So, ayun lang sa akin sa ngayon. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!